guys, welcome back and thanks so much for being part of my family each and every week. I love you guys and I thank you for being here. Today I'm going to share with you this cute little acorn gnome. He's got a little acorn hat, a little acorn in his hand, and he's got little furry boots. If you want to know how to make him, stick around. i show you how. And if you like budget-friendly decor, be sure and watch me on Thursday. Thanks for watching. Okay, for this little guy, we're going to need some felt for his body. We're going to need a couple of Dollar Tree shoes, some faux trim, some faux fur for the beard, a couple of beads for the nose and the hands, a couple of corks, some decor for the hat, a pool noodle, some jute fabric, a piece of wire, and a couple sticks. Okay, first thing what we're going to do is we're going to make the hat, and we're going to take our jute, and we are just going to start rolling it up, kind of like in the shape of a mat. And we're going to roll it all the way up till we get it to about three and a quarter inches in diameter. So you just want to make sure it's completely flat as you're rolling it up all the way till you get to three and a quarter inches in diameter. Just make sure that you get it completely glued in all the way around because if you don't, once you put it on his head, you'll see the separation. So just make sure that you get every bit of it glued. And I think I used about three yards of this um, jute, and I'll give you the link for it in the description below. Okay, once you get to three and a quarter inches, then we're going to start building it up, kind of like a basket. So on the, on the row that you just finished, you're just going to start gluing on top of that row all the way around, and you're going to go around four times. So you're going to make about an inch worth of um, ledge on there. And if you're using a bigger noodle than the Dollar Tree noodle, just make sure that when you make your flat top that it overhangs your noodle by about a half of an inch before you start going up the sides like this. Just make sure that you really concentrate on trying to really get that glued in good because I did have to go back in and fix a couple of mine because I didn't have glue all the way around. And once you get all that around there, we're going to stop here in a second and we're going to take a one inch piece of jute, attach it to the top. And then I didn't show you in the video, but I painted mine dark brown. And just keep going until you get it all the way till you have one inch. And then we're going to start gathering it in or drawing it in. Okay, to draw it in, you're just going to glue to the inside of that last row. And just start drawing it in. And we're going to go around two times on this. So two complete circles. And then when you get to the end, just go ahead and clip that off and glue that down. Okay, next we're going to go ahead and start the body. We're going to take our fabric and we're going to roll it up in, onto our noodle. And you're going to make sure that the top edge is flush with the top of the noodle because we do need a little bit of an overhang on the bottom because we're going to come in and cut that in later. Okay, next we're going to go ahead and cut our beard at two and a quarter by two and three quarter in length and just cut behind the faux fur only all the way around in a U shape. And then take a comb and comb any of the excess fur off. Okay, then we're just going to glue it to the top edge of our noodle. And make sure that your seam is in the back. And then go ahead and glue that down to the body. Okay, next go ahead and put the hat on with the um, finished out edge in the back. And then go ahead and glue down the sides. And then go ahead and glue down the back too. Next, we're going to attach the nose. Just go ahead and separate the hair at the top there. Just kind of pull it back on both sides. And then we're going to just glue it right down to the top. And I'm using about a 15 millimeter bead on this. Okay, then go ahead and take your fabric on the bottom. We're going to go ahead and put slits all the way around it. Probably about, you know, half inch slits all the way around. And we're going to glue this to the bottom of the noodle. Just make sure you get each layer glued down. And make sure that you make it smooth too. Kind of pull on it as you're pull and as you're gluing it around there so it is flat when we look at the front of it. Okay, next we're gonna go ahead and do the shoes. We're just gonna take two five sixteenths inch weights or um, nuts and put them into the bottom of the shoes just for weight. And then I'm just gonna take a piece of um, brown craft foam and I'm gonna glue the shoes to that. And then we're going to just trim those out. That's going to be the, the bottom of our shoe. 
and just go ahead and trim them out and get as close to the edge as those shoes you can and then not worry so much about it being not perfect because we're going to come back in with some fabric and trim it out. Okay, next we're going to take our fabric and we're just going to go all the way around the shoes starting in the back. And then just glue to the shoe all the way around. Just one, this is one piece of fabric. And then glue down the back and then we're going to come back in with a little trim piece and we're just going to trim out the um, edge of it. And go ahead and pull it pretty tight as you're going along so that it does suck up there against the um, craft foam on the bottom. Okay, then I'm going to take two sticks and I'm going to cut them at three and a half inches each and then go ahead and sharpen them. And I'm just cutting these with a miter cutter and I will give you a link to this in the description below as well. Okay, next we're going to take our cork and I'm using synthetic cork. You can take your hot glue gun and just poke a hole in both ends and you really only need to do it in one end and go ahead and twist your stick down into it. It doesn't have to go in all the way. Just make sure it goes in far enough to just really grab, but it'll only work with the, synth the synthetic corks. Okay, then go ahead and put one in each shoe and then we're going to go ahead and glue them in. And I'll give you the link where I get my corks because you can buy them in bulk for real inexpensive. Okay, and then I'm just going to go ahead and make my shoe. I'm just going to glue the very front of it to the um, cork. And then I'm going to squeeze it together and glue those in. And then we're going to come back in and put some trim on them. Okay, then do exactly the same thing for the second shoe. Okay, next I'm going to trim out the top of the boots with these, uh, this little trim. It's just a little faux fur trim I got at Joann's and I'm cutting it at three quarter an inch by five inch, but then I cut it off a little bit more there. So just measure around your boot and then just cut yours to the size it needs to be. And you're just going to go ahead and put it around the top part of the boot and then just glue it all the way around. And then do the exact same thing to the second boot. Okay, then next I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to sharpen another one of these dowel sticks. And I'm going to go ahead and poke it into the bottom of the pool noodle, just one on each side, just to put those um, legs up in there. And then go ahead and pull them back out and just glue them in. Next, I'm going to take an 18 gauge um, floor wire and I'm just going to poke a hole through here with my X-Acto knife. Just mark it with your um, wire and then we're going to feed it all the way through that noodle to the other side and then just go ahead and cut that opening on the other side to pull it all the way through. And then I'm going to take and put a little bead on each side. I'm just going to go ahead and glue it, glue it around there and then stick a bead on through each side of it. And this is kind of act like a shoulder, but this will kind of hold that um, noodle in. Put a little bit of glue inside the noodle and then a little bit on the outside just to glue that bead in. Make the arms. We're just going to take our fabric on the long end and roll it up and then just glue down one side. We're going to do the same thing for both of them. Then we're going to come back in and we're going to put a piece of trim on them, exactly like the trim that we put on the, on the boots. Okay, and just cut a little piece of that trim off of there and you're just going to wrap it all the way around the bottom of that, um, of that arm. Okay, then I'm taking some pliers, just kind of wallow out the inside of that part and slide it up over there and then it'll go right up over the top of that bead. And then you're just going to go ahead and glue that in, that arm into the bead. Just push it all the way on there and then hold it till it dries. And we're going to come back in and trim these out too. And go ahead and do the same thing with the other arm. 
Okay, then just go ahead and take your pliers and pull the sleeve back a little bit and go ahead and cut those wires flush with the bottom. And then we're going to go ahead and put our bead for our hand right on the bottom of them. And do the same thing for the opposite side. Just pull it back, trim it off, and then just put your, put your bead on there. And then I'm going to take some strips of fabric, just a little thin strip of fabric, and I'm just going to put it up around the top part of the arm just to cover any of that gap opening up there. It just kind of cleaned it up a lot. Okay, next I'm going to take a, a piece of jute, and I'm just going to wrap this around his body three times. It just kind of, he had all the same color, so I thought he needed some kind of separation in there, and this worked out perfectly. Just kind of give him a belt, and then just tie it on the side, and trim off the excess. Then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to attach an acorn in his arms, and I got these at Hobby Lobby. You can get them in a bag. And then I'm going to put a couple little leaves that I got at Hobby Lobby onto his hat just to kind of um, dress it up a little bit. Okay, and that was a pretty easy one. Okay, there you have it. If you like these kind of videos, hit like. If you want to see future videos, hit subscribe. And if you want to be notified when I have another video, hit the bell. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed it.